Yeah. And they go to the. You're already in the semifinals when you get right, in. There right. Right. When go. you get in, you're automatically in. in the, you're, so you're a winner right away. You know what annoys me? What? That, that Eric's name. Sex, sex bagel? Sex, I don't like it. I don't understand it. Where did that come from? We've know. never you have explained. To like, you have to like... He was uh, working on a wacky radio show, and they, they uh, named him Sex Bagel. So maybe we just rename him. It's probably something he got caught doing. Yeah, no, like... No, what? it's actually a boring story. It, it has nothing to do with anything. When he comes up there here, we'll ask him. There has to be a, a, a story behind a name like that. We'll ask him. I, he told me once, and I don't remember, because it was just like, oh, all right, whatever. You know what it is? There, there's The type of guy he is and his personality and the way he looks... There's nothing in there that should have, like, the sex thing in there. You don't think he gives off sex appeal? Personally, no. I, I don't think he does. <laughs> but I'm not even going that far. I'm just saying, you know, it's not. I don't, I don't know what he gives off. But it's not, it just doesn't seem to be a name that fits him. Right. And it just disturbs me when people call him that. What should like, we call him? Oh, I, Eric, perhaps. Right. <laughs> nice boy. It's just, ugh. Anthony, on the instant feedback, Tom from Eric. Uh, yeah, Anthony, you better bring those guys in from the line soon before someone from the Tony Danza show shows up with a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, a lot of people want to know why Sex Bagel. Yeah. Where did that I don't think we ever explained it on the radio. Oh, it's a stupid story. It's um, pretty gee. Yeah, yeah we, I think we're going to rename you. That's fine, if you want to do that. We're going to rename you I've something. been using that name since 97 anyway, so it probably... 97. Since 97, everybody. Something more masculine, like Robert Reed's balloon notch. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the story uh, was, behind Sex Bagel? Well, while I was at college in Pennsylvania, there was um, a local shit station. I was working uh, the nighttime shift, and these two guys after me doing the late night wanted to be love lines so bad. Yeah. These two dumb rednecks. And the PD said, well, one of them can't uh, come in that night. Can you run the board? Fine. I ran the board, but I wouldn't talk because I just didn't like their show. And he, the, the, the one host kept trying to get me to do sex You wouldn't advice. talk? I don't believe it already. No. Yeah. I thought, <laughs> you don't know when to shut up. <laughs> and I were discussing that again today. Oh, my that, God. That topic comes up. A lot. Eric just enjoys talking to everybody. He's very excited to be here. Yeah. I can't, uh, but I can't fault the guy that he's working for not. two guys yeah. that have been doing this for 10 years and just want to collect a paycheck and get the hell out of the business. I oh. understand. <laughs> he's the young go-getter. I remember being like him. Yeah, back in the old days. <laughs> no, we're just kidding, Eric. Relax. So what uh, happened? So the guy kept trying to get me to do um, sex advice, and what do I know? So I wasn't going to do anything. Caller came, call came in um, late towards the end of the show, some female finally asked. So I said... I forgot what the question was, but I gave her advice. She's like, oh, that's really good. By the way, you know, when you're, when you're telling these little stories, <laughs> here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. Yeah, I talk too much, but I also listen too much, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, you are the genuine article. Let me tell uh, you something. Yeah. I, I, I like me. My yeah. wife likes me. <laughs> My customers <laughs> like me. I'm the genuine uh, article uh, <laughs> with his stupid uh, perm and stupid mustache. Go on, hurt me. I'm an easy target. Yeah, go on, hurt me. If Big it makes fat head just shaking. <laughs> Doesn't he say if it makes you feel better, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, great. hurt me. I'm that's an easy another target. must uh, watch movie oh, for this show. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. So what were you saying? You haven't been home in eight years. Yeah. So anyway, so the guy was trying to be funny. He wanted to say sex advice from the bagel because, you know, my last name rhymes with bagel. And oh, he goes, oh, that oh, oh, yeah. oh, he goes advice All right. from the sex bagel. And then he just thought it was funny, so he kept calling me that for months. And then everyone you else thought it was funny because it. you use it now. Yeah. Well, I just wound up using it because everyone screen called me it. Mm. So I kind of I had it by default, yeah. and then I just kept using it. All right. Oh, all right, you're right, Opie. It was a stupid story. Something cooler. How about one of five busted in Paramus? That's a little bit of a cooler. <laughs> we got to get that other line from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles where he's doing the caddy doll or whatever it is. Yeah. That, <laughs> you probably pull your own string. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big fat guy in the motel room just wants to sleep and have friends. <laughs> All right. I like the good. end of that movie when he watches uh, Steve Martin and his wife kissing, and his little fat hands are just yeah, yeah. in his hat. Yeah, yeah. It's a really great shot. Oh, all it's sad. Yeah. I love that movie. Stupid wife went and died. <laughs> All right, thank you, Eric. Ah, so we're gonna good. go. To, I guess we have to go to break then, so we can get the studio set up for um, cherry darts, huh? Yeah, let's get the festivities underway.